Hey guys, this is Randy. Uh, we're back with another carburetor video or carburetor related. <clears throat> guys, I know we've been gone for over a year. Been a long time, but we've had a lot of a lot of family problems. I'm not going to go deep into that, but anyway, we have uh let's let's start off today. I'm going to do a a video on these these little solenoids. These are these are actually considered this one here is considered an anti-diesel solenoid back in the 70s. We used them and they make them for this is particular ones for a Motocraft 4 barrel 4350. They make them for the Hollies where the bracket drops down and it'll, it, this has to set up against the actual arm of the throttle. So what happens here is it, it, how it stops it from dieseling is you would set this idle speed by the curb idle screw very, very low, like 450, 500. We just barely stay running at all, you know, or maybe on the point of not running. Then we'd, we'd mount this solenoid on the throttle. It would sit here, the right bracket, it'd sit here right up against it. And we'd have a, a wire, electrical wire here from 12 volt ignition. So when you turn the ignition on, it put 12 volts here and this solenoid would pop out. And what it does, it won't push, it won't push the throttle open, but you have to touch the throttle and then the solenoid to hold it open from then on. So then it's idling from, for, from this solenoid here. So what you do then is you adjust the idle speed by this or right here at the bracket, but most of them adjust it right here with a 5 16 wrench. And you set the idle speed to like 800 or 1,000, whatever you needed. And then when you cut the key off, this dropped down, the throttle close to almost cutting the motor off to four or 500 RPMs, and it won't diesel because it can't hardly get no air, no fuel. And it works. I've seen it. I've worked on these things back in the 70s. I started then. So this solenoid, now I have no standard, what is it, standard motor products. They have these type of solenoids and there's all kinds of them. There's ones with dash pots built into them. There's vacuum operated ones that have a solenoid that has vacuum going to it and then jumps over to the vacuum and it compensates like for the AC. But you can use this one here it's electrically operated and you can tie it in with the AC compressor, use it on the AC. You can use it for anti-dieseling if you have an anti-dieseling problem, but you can't use it for both at the same time. So we can use it for anti-dieseling or we can tie this wire in to like a AC clutch wire or AC clutch wire signaling uh, like a relay that will run this solenoid, put 12 volts to it when the AC is energized. And then just set it to compensate. Set your idle screw at your normal idle speed. And then this will click out and will compensate for the idle drop, which is probably a couple hundred RPMs usually, two to three hundred. It varies. And, and it works good. It, these things really, really work good. They're kind of expensive. They're pricey, but they were pricey back in the 70s. At the dealership, Ford dealer I worked at, they were $100 or better. But now I think you can get them for 50 to 100 bucks, somewhere around there. And there's probably different manufacturers other than standard motor products. But this is just a quick video. But there's, look look at all of these when you look at them. There's electrical vacuum operated ones. There's ones with a dash pop where when the, you open the throttle, it'll slowly let the throttle close back down to idle speed to keep it from cutting off with a quick throttle touch. You know, you touch the throttle real quick and let off. A lot of these old carburetors would cut off. And the dash pot part of it, and it's built into some of them, like electrical ones and vacuum operated ones. But guys, that's what that's all I got for you right now. Uh, I've got some more of these. I'm gonna try to find some more of these, like a vacuum operated one, and show you. It has a solenoid that'll set beside the the actual over here on the side of the motor, whatever, and it will actually have vacuum manifold vacuum going to the solenoid. And what it does, it's just an open and closed solenoid. It lets the vacuum go through and come to the vacuum operator's dash pot and then close. And you can actuate it with a, a AC, anything you want to. It, it's, they're just compensators. And, and this is more or less called an anti-diesel solenoid. When that idle drops down real low, that motor cut off. It will not diesel. I mean, unless it's burning up. I mean, that's the only thing you would maybe keep it going. But it's something nice to have, especially if you're driving your old hot rod in traffic and you want to cut it off and you don't want to sit there dieseling or, or you, do, you got AC and you want to compensate for the idle drop. Works really good like a charm. 
Uh, that's all I got for you today. Now these come in all kinds of different brackets. It takes a holly, one made for a holly to fit this, this, it bolts down where the stud is. And sometimes it got a little screw behind it, but it's, it's got a special bracket on it for a holly. Well guys, that's all we got today. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you'd like to support our channel, we have a cash app in the description below. Uh, thank you guys. Talk to you later.